Hi friends, there are many causes for fever and every parent, everybody is worried regarding high grade fevers. Some people say if the fever goes high, it goes to the head. There is this notion. Let us debunk this notion in today's video. Hi friends, I am Dr. Karamat. This is Scientific Doctor channel. In this channel, every week I try to release a video regarding health, medicine, medicine related topics which are to be explained in detail to the common people. If you want to see such videos, kindly subscribe to this channel. Also press the bell icon adjacent to it to get instant notification whenever I release new videos. This week's video is about the notion that high grade fever you know, rises to the head. Does it cause brain fever? If the fever goes on for you no know, longer, if it is very high grade, does it become brain fever? There are these notions. We have to understand that fever denotes a abnormality, a problem inside the body. So fever by itself is not a disease. It is a symptom of a disease. Okay. Fever by itself is also not bad. It denotes that the body is fighting against this, trying to correct it. But very high grade fevers can definitely cause problem. But there is a notion, especially in Indian subcontinent, that high grade fever rises to the head. Is it true? High grade fever becomes brain fever. No, it is not true because brain fever is caused by specific viruses and bacteria, encephalitis and meningitis. So a normal fever cannot become a brain fever. So that is not possible. Similarly, there is a notion that high grade fever can cause seizures. Especially this is true for young children because there is an entity called febrile seizure, fever associated seizures. We have to understand, I have made a separate video about febrile seizure. We have to understand that febrile seizures happen in children between the ages of 6 months to 5 years in specifically genetically inclined individuals that you have a genetic trait that's why you get febrile seizure in it is not that in other children if you have sufficient degree of high rise in temperature you will definitely get seizures and the converse is also true it is not that in children with febrile seizure if the fever is not very high they may not get seizures no even at low grade temperatures in children with febrile seizure they may get these seizures so it is the genetic component and the rapidity of rise in temperature the slope so if your if your fever goes from if your body temperature goes from 98 to 100 within say 10 minutes that may cause seizures in children with febrile seizure but in children with febrile seizure or in others a degree of 104 may not cause febrile seizure so we have to understand this. There is also this notion that any degree of fever more than 100 is dangerous. Now we have to understand the normal temperatures. American Academy of Pediatrics states that any degree more than 100.6 needs to be treated with paracetamol. But we have to understand that they mean the rectal temperature. What we usually measure is axillary or over the temples. This anything more than 100 probably can be taken as fever and you can give paracetamol so any fever between 100 to 102 is called low grade temperature 102 to 104 say moderate grade anything more than 104 is high grade temperature and we also have to understand that the response is not the same for all age groups say a child less than three months has any fever we have to rush to the hospital immediately but a child between 3 to 12 months, probably you can give a dose of paracetamol, wait for the response, not improving, you can go. A older child, a low grade fever, you can even wait for 1 or 2 days, 24 to 48 hours before going to the hospital. Then why should you go to the hospital? If you say fever itself is not bad, why should you go to the hospital? I am saying fever is not bad, but fever is an alarm. Fever is an alarm for an disease which is happening inside we have to know whether the disease is bad or not we have to identify the disease and say whether it is bad or not that's why we need to go to the doctor i am not saying you should not care for children with fever 
I am saying you should not get panicky when the child gets 101 or 102 fever. When you go to the doctor, they are not worried about how much is the degree of temperature. They are worried about how long is the fever present and what is the cause of fever. Even lay people can understand this. You know, whenever we read in news reports, newspapers, social media, it is not that 105 fever has caused this problem to this child. It is dengue has caused this, malaria has caused this, typhoid has caused this or COVID-19 has caused this. It is the reason for fever which creates complication. It is not the fever by itself unless it is very high grade that is more than 104 especially for a prolonged duration and any fever in younger children. So we need to know the cause of fever. We need not panic about the temperature alone. That's my takeaway from today's video. Hopefully in this season of you no know, frequent fevers, this video was of use to you. If you consider this useful, kindly consider sharing this to fellow parents. Also subscribe to this channel till we meet again. Bye.